kindergartners at Cape Elementary. Paul volunteers his time daily during dismissal to help the teachers at Cape Elementary with the kindergarten students at Parent Pickup, a new and sometimes upsetting concept for a little one. Paul makes sure the children are sitting safely, listening for their names to be called, and looking for their transportation. Unlike the teachers who rotate in the pickup line, Paul has taken it upon himself to learn each child's name and can identify each car. His pleasing personality and positive attitude have gained him the respect of the students and they listen to him and follow his safety directions without hesitation. Paul has been an invaluable help not only to the students but also to the teachers at Cape Elementary School. Good job, Paul. On December 9th, a young man by the name of Mitchell, the son of one of our police sergeants, was playing on a tire swing with a friend in a vacant field down the street from his home. While they were playing, two older brothers approached and began to pick a fight with Mitchell, who was much smaller than they were. During the fight, one of the brothers pulled out a Swiss Army knife. Two other neighbors who were across the street, Stefan Aranda and Jesus Mendez, saw the boys picking on Mitchell and heard the young, younger brothers say, want to fight, then I'll cut you up and I'll stab you. Stefan and Jesus yelled at the boys, breaking up the fight, then escorted Mitchell home to safety. It's thanks to the observation skills of Stefan and Jesus and their willingness to get involved that Mitchell wasn't injured. Good job, guys. <laughs> Mackenzie's being awarded for her compassion. On a daily basis, before her school even begins, she goes to the special needs classroom at Cape Elementary and helps each child to complete their morning work. She understands that some students need more direction and more assistance and is able to help with each one at his or her own level, which is very difficult to do with a wide range of children in this classroom. She also picks up on other areas of skills that the parents that the students need help with and assists wherever she can. She's patient and kind and truly enjoys helping the younger children. As you may have guessed, her career goal is to be a school teacher. Good job, Mackenzie.
The kind of smile displayed was a comfort to the young man and also showed his schoolmates that that kind of behavior was not acceptable. His actions show integrity and character. Good job, John.
blending in with the crowd is much easier than standing out and doing the right thing. And forget what our parents and teachers and positive role models have taught us. I know you're here today because you have important people in your lives teaching you the value of what's right and as I said earlier, the consequences of what's wrong. Choosing what is right takes character, integrity, and leadership. And that is hard to find in some people today. Through their actions, they have perfectly personified the term of leadership. If these leaders in this room continue to teach others what they know about making positive decisions, the effects are infectious and everlasting. So I say to you, continue doing what is right. No matter where you are in life, set positive goals for yourself. And remain a leader amongst your friends. Congratulations again. And thank you for all being here.